Hello, my name is Aina Safi and I will be reading a story entitled Princess Bohati, written by Diogratia Simba and illustrated by Michael Saliqua. So without further ado, let's start reading. Bahati was the princess of the land of Suchusa. For many years, Suchusa didn't receive a single drop of rain. Famine struck the land, all sources of water dried out. As a result, people had no food or water. Plants started to die and animals suffered. Princess Bahati's father the king of Suchusa worked hard with his advices to find a solution. Princess Bahati liked sitting with the father during these meetings. She listened as advisors made one suggestion after another. Princess Bahati started to think about a possible solution as well. She couldn't stand to see the people, plants, and animals suffer. She wanted to share her ideas with her father, but he considered Princess Bahati far too young to be taken seriously in the matters of running a kingdom. She went to her mother, the queen. The queen listened to her proposal and promised to help Princess Bahati get a fair hearing from the king. The queen pleaded with the king and his advisors to hear out Princess Bahati. Finally, the king agreed and granted Princess Bahati the chance to explain her plan. Princess Bahati stood before the royal court and started explaining her idea. She advised that the people of Sushusa could harvest rainwater the next time it rains by digging a big water reservoir. They can also direct water from the river to the reservoir. The king and his advisors were impressed. They accepted her plan and executed it with the citizens of Suchusa. Princess Bahati led the youth of Suchusa to help execute the plan. Together, they dug a big reservoir. The next time it rained, all of the rainwater was directed into the reservoir. The river water was also channeled into it. Eventually, there was abundant water for people, animals, and plants alike. Thanks to Princess Bohati, new life now flourished in the land of Sushusa. The end. In my opinion, Reading is important because it can make you powerful. With the amount of wisdom and knowledge, you can decide whoever and whatever you want to be in this world. With that, I thank you.